Thursday, October 12, 2023. Dream vlog. Uh, so I had another dream. This is the second dream I had today. I went back to sleep. Um, I posted the first one earlier about bearing fruits. Um, but anyways. Anyways. Uh, anyways, I was uh, I was in Independence, right? And it was a parade. It was like the 4th of July parade or some, something like that. And I was uh, over there by um, my cousin Melissa's old house. Um, she used to live over there by IES, up the street from IES. I think it's the road that takes you to the... It's like in between... Um, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know what street it's called. I don't know the streets like that. But uh, it's over there by IES. Um... um my cousin Melissa and uh, used to live there, and then she used to have my mom's friend Tony, who owns a farm here, around here. Um, he owns a farm, but he used to live over there too, and we used to hang out when we were little over there. He used to live off this little side room, but um, over there, anyways, that's really irrelevant. Um, anyways, uh, it, it was by IES, so the street by IES. I used to go to IES when I was a little kid. That's why. Um, anyways, um, anyways, there was a street right there and I was dreaming out about a parade happening and I walk up to that street. I don't know what street is called, but it's by the houses on the on the street that have like bricks bricks on the front of the but the door has bricks in front of the door anyways um anyways anyways um it's like bricks made into the house but it's by the front door they're like little duplexes or something like that anyways um Anyways, uh, so, um, um, so yeah, I was walking over there and I walk up to that street and there was like a, a stands there, like people, a people in a truck standing there. And they were on the back of a truck, like a parade. You know, in the parade when they have people in the back of the trucks, there was there was a whole bunch of females there, and a couple of my family members there, and there was somebody in a pageant dress and like a, a pageant dress with one of those, um, one of those things that go across your chest where it says things on it, but it was all white. And I go there, and there was another other ones, and then there was a parade there, and um, and it was like a, like the Fourth of July parade there they have in Independence. And then, um, and then, uh, 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 And then, um, and then, yeah, I was talking to them and they were talking to me, right? I thought they were on the back of the truck and, um, and, uh, and it was a whole bunch of females and then some of my family members up on the truck. 
and I felt like a setup, right? Then they were trying to uh, talk to me, and they were trying to give me food. They were trying to give me food that was messed with, and I didn't want it. And I felt like they were messing with me. And there was all these females on this truck, and they were trying to give me food that was messed with and tampered with and make me sick or whatever. And then after that, they got off the truck, and I was talking to them, and I was asking them, what are you? And he's like, she was like, oh, I'm a pageant winner, like a pageant winner. And... um she was wearing one of those those things that go around them that says the pageant or the state or whatever. She's like, I'm a pageant winner. I'm a pageant winner. She was wearing like a white tannish dress and she looked like she was like probably like light skinned Mexican or something or white. You know what I mean? Dark tanned white girl. And then um, and then uh, she's like, I'm a pageant winner. I'm a pageant winner. And then um, but then it started being something from like Central High School. And I started saying and then there was a whole bunch of uh, there was a whole bunch of um high school females like there were high school females in this truck and then um and then uh the one thing that i remembered in real life when i was at the fourth of july i was uh, sitting outside uh on the street on the fourth of july when they had a parade i remember this big old white truck it was like a dodge ram white truck with a whole bunch of high school girls in it and he looked at me and just started laughing and um he was looking at me and he just started laughing like like i seen him and i got him on camera too so i can't make that shit up I got him on camera, um, and he had a whole bunch of high school girls in there, and it was fucking, it was weird, I thought it was weird at that time, I didn't know what was going on, but I had anxiety, and I was just sitting there, and he was laughing at me, and he looked at me, directly at me and started laughing, but then, um, and, uh, but that was in real life, and now I'm dreaming of this, it's a dream, and, um, and uh, I and, and when they were in this truck in a dream, they were uh, they were um, and then um, when I was talking to the girl, she's like, "I'm a pageant winner, pageant winner," and then they turned into high school students that were like prom or homecoming or some shit like that homecoming or some shit like that dresses and they were all right there hanging right next to me and they were trying to make me sign papers trying to make me sign um papers and get my signatures they had me a folder and they were showing me some girl and they, they were showing me my cousin diana or my family member diana from um arizona there was a picture of diana uh from arizona in this folder and uh they had me a a, a manila folder and um and um and they had me a folder and I, they showed me a, a little flyer with my like my cousin Diana on it uh from Arizona and I'm like what the fuck and then they're like signing these papers and I'm I'm like signing my papers and it had a name already on it whatever I'm signing these papers and uh putting my name down and there was like i had to scratch out someone else's name and then i'm feeling anxiety like they were trying to get me to like for like forge my signature or like set me up with falsified documents or some shit like that and i'm s filling out my name i didn't finish filling it out but i put my name on there and then um and then i see some gang members pull up in a a lowrider car and it was uh it, this lowrider car was like a like a old school Oldsmobile with the rag top, a uh, blue rag top and uh, a back tire on the back of the bumper. And it was some Sureños that were passing by and they were looking at me. I was like, those are the fools you guys need to get. Those are the fools that they're doing all this shit. And those are the fools that were trying to set me up. So everything they were trying to set me up for, it was them. And they were looking at me. Then there were some of their homies sitting on the side watching the parade. And they were looking at me and I was like, are you sure? And then, then they started believing me. And um, they started believing me. And then uh, and then there, I was like, yeah, I'm a prophet. And in my dream, I said, I'm a prophet. And he's like, for real? And he started laughing at me. And I was like, look, I had a dream of the future. And my brother Isaac was sitting right next to me, uh, next to the people. And there was a whole bunch of the, the high school girls right there. And then Isaac, my brother Isaac was sitting right next to me, filling out some paperwork, too. He was signing papers and stuff. And, um, and, um... And the, the other dude who's the Asian, a little Asian cat that kicked it with the Sureños in my dream. And he was like, what? And I proved that my point in my dream. He was like, damn. And he's seen that. And then I seen, um, 
the homie Lucius and other people, they were basically seeing me next to these high school girls inside my dream. And they, they were thinking that I was like doing stuff. And then, uh, they were, um, they were, uh, they were passing by and they basically seen from the outside perspective and then gathered their evidence, right? Basically thought I was guilty and I wasn't. And they passed by. And then, um, then I went to this house. I went to my house in my dream and I was cooking steak. I was cooking steak and there was people stalking me at my house. They were walking in my house and all types of stuff. And uh, it was dudes. It wasn't the females. It was dudes walking in my house. Um, dudes uh, walking in my house. And I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I was like, what the fuck? And then um, and uh, there was dudes walking in my house. And uh, and um, and um, I was cooking food. For my family, I was cutting, uh, cooking a piece of steak. And real life, I don't cook meat because I'm trying to be vegan, right? But um, anyways, I was co cooking a steak, and there was dudes walking in my house trying to set me up, and um, I was catching them. I can't remember the full dream. And then there was this white dude. I think his name was Dylan. He used to live by me in South Salem when I was a little kid. And um, and um. He looked like the guy that changed my water. So the guy that came in the yellow, big old yellow truck that was fixing the water that I got on camera with the other chubby uh, Mexican dude, he was fixing my water, right? And I thought they were going to tamper with my water, right? Because they used to tamper with my water at the old house. And um, he looked just like that dude. That dude who wore a beanie and a hoodie on. And I, I got them on camera too. But um, but anyways... Uh, Anyways, he looked like that dude, but his uh, I had a friend named Dylan who looks like that dude too. So, um, he had bluish eyes and white. And then, um, and then, um, but there was dudes walking to my house trying to set me up, and I think it was through the food. Um, and the other day in real life, my mom was tripping. She was like, lock the back door, lock the back door, lock the back door. And then I don't lock the back door. And then I go drink something and I got drugged and I was tripping. And, um, I was telling my mom, my, my throat was all dehydrated and everything. So it seemed like my mom knew about it, but she was telling me, warning me without actually telling me, she was telling me, lock the back door, lock the back door, lock the back door. And then, um. And that was real life. And I didn't lock the back door. I stayed in my room. And then I went to go eat and get something to drink. And it tasted like there was alcohol in my drink, in, in the juice. And then there were, that my throat got all dried. And it was my nephew's juice. So I'm glad I drank it instead of my nephew. But, um, but yeah. And, um, uh, and then, uh, and then, uh, and then, yeah. And I thought it was my sister because my sister and Sandy had alcohol, a bottle of alcohol in the house. And I thought they just put it in there or some shit. But then my ne my my throat started dehydrating in real life and I started feeling weird. You know what I mean? But anyways, um, anyways, um, that was real life. But anyways, in my dream, there was dudes walking in my house trying to set me up. And uh, and then um, I don't know. They were just walking around my house and shit. And then um, trying to make it seem like I'm kicking in with them or some shit. I don't know, even know what. But, um, and then, uh, and then in real life, I don't have nobody come over here. So if they ever try to say I have people come over here, they're capping. But, um, but anyways, um, I'm too paranoid. Um, but anyways, uh, anyways, anyways. Anyways, they were, and then I go to the door and I see that white dude right there by the front door, right? And I was like, Dylan. And he was over there. He looked at me. He was like, how do you know my name? And it wasn't really Dylan. I don't think it was. But but anyways, he's like, da, da, da. He's talking to me. And I, because I like, I'm caught. And my mom was sitting in her power chair outside the front door too. And I, he, my mom was working with the ops in my dream. And then, um, and then I'm talking to this dude. I'm talking to this dude. And, um, I'm talking to this dude, right? And, uh, and, um,
And then, um, what's it called? Uh, I catch this dude by the front door, right? And he's just tripping. Like, he's asking me questions. Like, how do you know it's us? How do you know it's us? Or some shit like that. Like, he didn't say those exact words, but basically trying to figure out information of how I knew it was them. And then, um, and then, uh, it was some white dude, right? The white people messing with my food, right? And, um, and, uh, and trying to set me up. I think they were trying to set me up as a weirdo, like being gay or some shit. Trying to make it seem like I was gay or some shit coming in my house or whatever. I don't know what they were fucking trying to do, but they were trying to set me up doing something. Those are just my theories. Um, in my dreams, and then I catch it. My mom was sitting right there in her power chair just watching and talking to us. But I forgot what my mom said. And then, um, and then, uh, And then, and then, um, and then, yeah, and then, uh, and then, um, that fool leaves, right? I, I, that fool leaves. My grandma Lydia comes in my dream, rest in peace, and then she comes in there. Letting me know her spirit's here, right? And she starts cooking for my nephew. Because I was cooking for my nephew and my mom and stuff. A steak in my dream. And it was, you know, good and everything to help him. To help him, like... Um, because even even though you can receive food for bad reasons in the dream. To build a covenant. You can also receive everything polar opposite. Which no one really talks about. So you can receive good food in a dream too. And be blessed upon your dreams by receiving a covenant of food. But, um... But usually they only talk about the bad part, you know what I mean? So, um, I was cooking meat in my dream with pure love, you know what I'm saying? Um, and, uh, and, um, I leave, I go outside because that dude was leaving and I see a truck of Mexicans, some paisas, some straight Mexicans, straight paisanos, or, uh, were across the street from me, across the street from me, right? It looked different than right here where I'm at right now. But across the street, there were some Mexicans fixing a car. They were doing mechanical work on a truck, a little pickup truck. A little pickup truck, you know what I mean? I think, I don't know if the color was blue, green, or some shit like that. And then they were doing stuff. And then there was another pickup truck with full of paisas passing by. And they were looking at me, straight paisanos. And then, um, and then I get, uh, I go out there, and they're following me. And then I go to the corner house, the very corner house. Is where this dude was, this uh, dude Dylan was staying at. This white dude was staying at the corner house, and um, and the very corner house on the street. And then um, and then uh, and he was showing me. And then I pull up, and there was a fence around this house. And then there was a low rider car, a low rider car in, in the front house that was painted and everything. It looked sick. It was on some um, on some um, on some low rider wheels rims. Um, I don't know, like a hundred spoke or some shit. Um, but uh, it was all painted and it was nice. Um, and um, it could mean a lowrider club. And I know one of my cousins is part of a lowrider club. So yeah, it could be mean a lowrider club is uh, like, you know, stalking me. It could mean like just a person from a lowrider stalking me. Or trying to set me up, or something like that. It just I don't know. I don't know. It's just interpretations. And then, but I pull up to his house, and he has it parked in the parking lot. It was a. Uh, it had he had the top down, so it was convertible. It was a convertible top, and then he's just hops in the car, and I'm looking at the back, and I see somebody driving by, and I slide across the bumper of my hand, and then um, and then yeah, I can't remember the other parts though, but that was basically it. But uh. But yeah. But yeah, that was basically it. So it look uh, to him, if if this is real life dream, that means they're trying to set me up with high school students and frame me for set for crimes, and they're trying to get me to forge documents and take my signature to thing. And my brother Isaac was there, uh, doing documents with high school people and stuff too. So and then um. And then um, 
There was people building false witnesses and making making falsified evidence, like trying to make it look like like I'm doing something, and then they'll have people look so they believe it. So they'll falsify an evidence by making it look like I'm doing something, and then um, and then having people look or taking video and showing them only the parts they want to see so they can make me look guilty, and then um, and then uh, and then. Um, and then um what else um trying to think trying to think trying to think um all right people dudes walking in my house trying to poison my food um trying to poison my food or or make me look gay or something dude set planning something in my house i don't know exactly what but the, those are the things that come to my mind and then um you know what i mean i'm need, doing neither of the things you know what i mean i'm straight as a whistle <laughs> you know what i mean um but anyways, let's go uh, to uh, um, let's go to uh, um, oh yeah, in my dream, in my dream, my grandma Lydia came, and my grandma Lydia came and finished cooking the food for me, so she was looking out for me. My grandma Lydia was looking out for me. She was cooking the food, and then she fed fed it to Lucas in my dream. So that means like the backing of my ancestors are helping me from my grandma's side of my family, um, and they fed Lucas, so they're, they're helping me. But um, she finished cooking the food in my dream and gave it to Lucas so he could be blessed. But uh, but anyways, but anyways, um, so yeah, and because I've been invoking my ancestors, because it's the month of Dia, Dia de los Muertos, I've been invoking my ancestors and my my grandma, grandpa, my uncle, my cousins are all my ancestors, right? Um, they're gonna be present in my life. And they are they already back me a lot more than they back uh, any of my other family members. Um, I jump over them all the time. But anyways, um, but yeah, so that was my dream.